What's up everybody? Welcome back to Changing Minds and Mentally Fit with Billy. Today we're going to be talking about some nutrition stuff, some little things that are going to help you at the moment that you're probably not feeling too good with being stuck inside, your mood could be changing slightly and some of this can be affected from foods that you eat. So some people obviously can exercise, some people can't exercise, some people aren't in the right mindset at the moment to exercise, maybe because their mood isn't where it should be, to give them the motivation to be able to go and exercise. So here's a little stepping block where I hopefully are gonna be able to give you some takeaways, uh, excuse the pun, <laughs> not real takeaways obviously, some takeaways in the video where you can add them into your shopping, and apply them in your, you don't have to do them all at once, but apply them maybe a couple a day, and because they, it's proven that this, these foods can improve your moods, and if we can improve your mood, then we're obviously gonna be able to improve your day-to-day -day activities, okay? So that's enough from me, and moving on to the first, first food. So, the big question is, does food affect your mood? The belief is that this goes back all the way to medieval times. Dates and elderberries were used as mood enhancers. Lettuce and chicory was used as tranquilizers. And apples and pomegranates, beef and eggs were also used as aphrodisiacs, believe it or not. So it goes back in history a long time with this belief that food can also affect your mood. And I'm gonna explain what they are now. So the happy hormone in our brains which is created is called serotonin. So what we want to do, we really want to try and eat more of the serotonin boosting foods and then limit the ones that make us feel low. So kicking off the number one, some of you will be pleased with this, is dark chocolate. A study has proven that if you eat 1.4 ounces of dark chocolate every day for two weeks, it will improve people's moods. How amazing is that? So you can eat dark chocolate, everything in moderation of course. Experts believe it's the antioxidants and the magnesium that's in the dark chocolate that improves your mood and helps keep you calm. So number two is the humble banana. Yes, the humble <laughs> banana. It's a great source of tritophian. It's a great source of vitamin B6. It produces serotonin, which helps with anxiety and stress. So add a bunch of bananas in your shopping. A banana a day keeps the anxiety and stress away. That's what we say. So number three is oily fish. Research actually shows that an omega-3 deficiency is linked to depression and a low mood. So make sure you're eating your fish, salmon, trout, tuna, sardines. This will help keep your brain healthy. Healthy brain, healthy mood. Let's get your fish in the bag. So next up is the avocado. The avocado is a natural hormone balancer. It also helps the brain to make the right chemicals to make you feel better. So make sure you're chucking in your avocados in your shopping bag, even a couple of weeks. You haven't got to go mad with it, like I say. Just adding one little new thing off of this list and incorporating it slowly but surely is gonna get you on the road to feeling great. So number five is raw nuts. These are full of serotonin, healthy fats, and lots of antioxidants. You also don't need a very big serving and they're full of lots of nutrition. So get your nuts, okay? Mixed ones, any ones you like. Try and stay away from, obviously, bagfuls of salted nuts. Try and, try and, st try and stay uh, with the raw nuts, the more healthier version variety, cashews, that sort of thing, a few almonds, even just a bag of mixed nuts in the cupboard is gonna help you out. It's gonna give you plenty of energy. And like I say, you only need a very small serving and you're gonna get lots of nutrition out of that. So number six is oats. Very effective mood booster. And this is thanks to them being low on the GI scale. They give you a slow release of energy in the bloodstream. And because of this, it keeps your blood and your mood stable. You can do lots of different things with the oats, obviously overnight oats. And we will touch on what you can do with some of the foods on other videos. We're gonna get some other people in as well to do some stuff with food for you. Like I say, this is just a brief description on what some foods can change your mood if you're feeling a little bit down at the moment. So as you can see, there's definitely a clear connection on what we eat to how we feel. And like I say, if we can just incorporate the odd one or two little steps that I've spoke about today, it's gonna probably help you with your moods if you're feeling a little bit down. It's more important than ever at the moment to try and get our minds right and our feelings right and especially fueling our bodies right because it comes from what we eat. Our cells feed on what we put in our bodies. So hopefully you got something from that, those six little food items. Hopefully you took some value from it as well. 
hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.